Oh, the devil are you? Boof. Okay. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, and probably no one does, because I've, I've never mentioned it before, so why would you know? <laughs> okay. I have color vision, vision deficiency. Now, a lot of people call it color blindness, but most people with color blindness aren't completely color blind. Um, so, I mean, I've, I've managed without it. I'm 56 next month, and I've managed without seeing my colors properly for a long, long time. So, just a big, quick breakdown of what color blindness is. The most common type of color blindness makes it hard to tell between the difference of red and green. And there's four types of red, green color blindness. There's deuteranomaly, uh, protonomaly, and these tend to be mild forms of color, color vision deficiency. Um, most people carry on through life without even noticing it a lot of the times. Then you've got protonopia and deuteranopia. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing these correctly. Now these tend to be a bit more pronounced. And then you have blue yellow color blindness, two types, tritonomaly, tritonopia. Now this only affects about one in 10,000 people, so it's quite rare. Then you've got complete color blindness, which is really rare and affects probably one in 30,000. So about one in 12 men tend to be cut, some, have some type of color vision deficiency and one in 200 women have uh, some type of color vision deficiency. I've taken uh, quite a few color vision tests and I fail them all marvelously, okay? <laughs> Four points for failing, I'd get them. And uh, yeah, and it looks like I've got protonopia uh, and it, it comes out a strong proton. So I have a very strong protonopia. So it makes me really hard to, to see reds and greens and I get mixed up with pinks as well, sometimes purples and things like that. I'm all over the place. Uh, in school, it was funny because, look, I was in school in the 70s. If you were short-sighted, had colour vision deficiency or were dyslexic, they didn't care. They thought you were stupid. I was painting brown grass, purple skies. I didn't have a clue. Okay, the, Richard, you idiot. <laughs> and, Ooh, you know, so in the 70s, they didn't care. Now there's more understanding of these different things that go on with people's eyes and things like that. So thank goodness. So anyway, uh, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna bite the bullet and buy a pair of these um, Enchroma glasses. Now I've seen a lot of these uh, uh, advertised and things like that, videos of people putting the glasses on and there's like, they've been cured of leprosy, you know. <laughs> oh my God, they're putting lens on. <laughs> now, I, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know, I'm gonna try them out. Um, see whether or not they're as good as they stay. They're not cheap. Okay, uh, I got these ones for £207 and that was an offer of 25 quid off as well. So they're not cheap. So if they don't work, I'm sending these straight back. They do have a 60 day money back guarantee. Uh, and they also do say that sometimes you have to wear them for about a week or two for your cones in the back of your eyes to get used to them, to seal properly. Anyway, let's have a look in the box and see what we've got. Okay, so it comes in this plain box. Now be aware, People are saying they're getting these in a plain box, but this is directly from the website. So it should have this in chroma sticker on, which I've already opened here. Uh, and uh, let's have a look what we got then. So let's have a look. Brighter is better. Wear your glasses for at least 10 to 15 minutes Be it to start and 10 plus hours over three weeks for best results. Everyone is unique not working as expected, again, take your time. So it's just saying, take your time. It might not work, first of all, or they won't be as good. But like I said, most of these videos, they put them on immediately and get a reaction. And that's why I'm dubious about these videos. Are they are they just there for clout? Are they just yeah, trying to chase views or something like that? Or was Enchroma paying them to do it? I don't know. Okay, we'll see. So it comes with these colored balloons, and you must have seen the videos where they got colored balloons. And again, I don't know what colors what in there. And if you're wondering what I see, here's a picture uh, of some surfboards. And you can see that there's definitely a difference between the two. And I know this because I've asked my wife. Now, these two pictures look identical to me. There's no difference at all in, in these two. Uh, and there's pretty much what I see. So it'll be interesting uh, to see what these color of these balloons look like when I blow them up. Um, okay, let's have a look. So it's all nicely packaged. Oh, they got colored paper as well. That's interesting. <laughs> that's, a, 
Now, I, I've never seen that in the videos before. So obviously, they've got different colours papers here uh, for you to look at to see what they look like under uh, with the glasses on. Let's get out of the way. And again, they come in an Encoma box. So make sure this is what it should look like. Some fake ones, they come in a plain box and it shouldn't be plain. It's got a nice carry case. Is anything in there? Lift here. This is something in there. Okay, you've got, uh, I think, cleaning cloths here with colours on again, instructions, guarantees, and things like that. And it says, read this first, which I will have a read of that in a bit. Uh, what does it say? Go on, we'll have a read of it. Go outside, put them on, keep them on. Avoid flipping the glasses. Um, we're indoors. Okay, okay, yeah, whatever. Right. Let's have a look at the actual glasses themselves. Okay, so everybody seems to get the black ones. So I thought I'm going to be different and get the grey ones. Why not? They've all got the black ones. I want to be different. I don't want to follow the crowd. Okay. So one thing I will say for these, they are um, pretty well made glasses. You can see that they're well made. I think they have uh, dust, dust proof and scratch proof lenses. Um, so they should be pretty resistant to, to getting smudges and scratches and dust on them. And they should be anti reflective. I mean, it is reflecting the uh, light a little bit here. Um, but it's not too bad and it's anti-reflective on both sides now looking at that it says Berkeley California or Barclay and I'm not sure which one that but I think it's made in Italy if I believe so I don't know if you can see that it actually says the frame is made in China now I've seen some in America and they're actually made in Italy but this frame is made in China so there you go. But the manufacturer is actually in Barclay Color in California, CA. Okay, so what in all, they are a well paid a well made pair of glasses. Okay, so moment of truth. It's a very bright, sunny, warm day. So it's not cloudy, it's not overcast, so it's it's perfect conditions for this. So I'm gonna put them on now. <laughs> And hopefully I will be able to see some differences in the colours. I do apologise for the little one. She's fascinated by the balloons. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Oh, wow, okay, all right. Let me see. It's very hard to put it into anything, but... I suppose. Oh, okay. It says not to flip them back and forth, but you have to flip them back and forth just to get that sort of feeling for it. Let's have a look. So, now, let's have a look. Hmm. Bella, I need, uh, what colour is that one you got there? Pass it, bring it here. Okay, and what colour is that one? Blue. Okay. Unfortunately, they're not working for me. I can't tell. They still look the same. So that's disappointing. There is a bit of a red tinge. Things do look a little bit better. Um, but it's not, unfortunately. Boo! <laughs> okay. I mean, the flowers look a bit redder. They look more orangey than they do red now. Uh, but I can't really... Unfortunately, I can't see the difference between those two. So, unfortunately, it's a no-go for me. So, they will be going back. I know they say you've got to put them on. I tell you what I'll do. I'll cut film in here, and I'm going to keep them on for 15 minutes to see if it makes a difference. I was hoping for one of them miracles. I was hoping to be cured of leprosy, <laughs> but it just didn't work. I mean, they're nice glasses, and they look nice. I think they're well-made. They look nice. But for me personally, they didn't work that well uh, i mean i've had them on now for about an hour i've been walking and i haven't taken them off 
And I have noticed that with this paper, uh, I can actually see that that's purple, okay? That's red and that's green. But here's the problem, right? This yellow, and I, and I had to ask my wife, what color is that? Because I thought it was green. It looks like a lime green now. <laughs> it looks more green when I take the glass, like a... <laughs> but it's, it, it looks green. Now there I could see it was a yellowy color. But now with I'm on, it looks green, like a lime green. What's going on? <laughs> and um, I retook the uh, Enchroma color within test. And I took that several times before I bought the glasses. And every time it said I was a strong proton. So even though I'm red green, is the reds uh, are more red color blind color deficient than I am green. Now it's saying I'm a strong dutan with these glasses on. And I took the test again three times and it's saying I'm a strong dutan, right? Which is more, even though it's red green, it's more green deficient than red. So I'm like, what? So what it's done is it's affected my uh, ability to see greens that well. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So unfortunately for me, it didn't work. Um, I'm not saying it won't work for everybody. It just it, it may be that I've got such severe color blindness or color vision deficiency that the glasses is just ain't going to cut the mustard, and that's probably what it is. Um, it could be that I've got so used to seeing colors my way for 56 years that it's freaking me out. But when I put the glasses on, it wasn't like night. It wasn't like oh my god. Wow, look at that, look at this. None of that at all. It was like, oh, right, okay. Oh, that's weird. And I still can't see the difference between these two. That still looks like a dark blue to me. I'm, I'm blue. So I can see it a different color or different, but it's just a different shade. Dark blue, light blue. That's what it looks like to me. So they're going back. Anyway, at least it saved me 200 quid. <laughs> But when you look at, if they did work for you, I think £200 is worth it because you buy a pair of Ray-Bans, they're going to be the same price, if not more, you know, and they're well-made glasses uh, and they're good sunglasses. They have um, UV protection in them as well. So you could wear them as normal sunglasses. And again, you, you, you pay loads for some designer sunglasses. They're going to be a few hundred pounds anyway. So if they can make you see colour, then great. But unfortunately for me, it didn't work. So it is good that in Chroma do have that 60 day money back guarantee so I can send them back, no problem at all. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Give it a like if you liked it. Disappointing that it didn't work out for me. I would have loved to have seen colors and see what they really looked like but unfortunately it didn't happen. And don't forget, if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe. Don't have to subscribe, but you better subscribe, yeah? <laughs> I don't mean that, I do. <laughs> Catch you in the next one.